So, Sub Zero Dev Conference Thailand, day one. Make sure you're subscribed to the Coos because. Hello, good night. Good night. Scorching hot interview with Origin Trail this afternoon. Got to the heart of why they're always in the top two or three for transaction volumes in the Polkadot ecosystem. Extremely bullish. The problem is, it was so hot outside, 33 degrees, that the camera that was filming me just gave up and shut down. So we'll have to do something creative there, but super interview coming soon. Devin Wood was back on stage with a refined presentation, this one public, on Core Jam, specifically the Jam Chain, which is the successor of the Polkadot Relay Chain. This simpler PVM architecture is meant to be lightweight and replicable, just like EVM. Instead of limited smart contracts, however, it can run full-blown services, like parachains, an example of a service that will still be in included in the jam chain block. The amount of code, data, and state in each service is limited only by the amount of DOT deposited by the service. A welcome use case for the DOT token post parachain auctions. Like we said yesterday, this is deep in the R&D phase and a more conservative and reasonable 20 month timeline. But it looks like Gavin is gonna invest in a hardcore supercomputer rig to move testing along at a clip. And I asked, Kusama's getting a successor chain too if governance allows it. Also today, I recorded a sweet interview with Nico, co-founder and CEO of Velocity Labs. His team has identified two buckets of friction holding the Polkadot ecosystem back from its DeFi glory. I also had a huddle with Mark from Sidetail, Alice and Bob, Limo, Remy, and others about a very exciting opportunity. Coming up with Mythical, very bullish. We're gonna hear more about that next week. But for now, Pinin's got some other ecosystem gaming updates. Pinin? This week's gaming update covers Glimmer apes starting their pink meme coin allocation through gaming. Sidetail and Mythical's prediction market is heating up. Degener Style launches a story campaign with hefty prizes. Snake Soldiers being the first to use Remark's dynamic on-chain token attributes repository, aka stats on-chain, opens up their battler to the public. I can only imagine that Chunky Hunters and Canaria Battler might also be using the new ERC-7508 standard. Exiled Racers share some impressive stats on their pink racing results. One 1.3k racers, 2.3k predictors. Not bad at all. And Eros Game and... <laughs> sorry, I just can't with that name. <laughs> Get it? Ha ha? No? Okay. Oh, and uh, P-Day? What's with all these names? I know. Kettle Black. Back to you, Jay. Thank you, Pinion. We'll pack it in for now. Tomorrow, three big Space Monkeys interviews. And we're going to check out some of the projects set up in the demo hall. See you then. Have a great night, everybody.